When a fan put up a fictitious scenario between the Baton Rouge MC and fellow rapper Yogati, Boosie Badaz lost it. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Who will win in a headbutt match with you versus your guy? One of his viewers questioned the crazy hitmaker which of the two rappers would prevail in a headbutt match during a live stream earlier this week. Man, fuck you. <laughs> the 41 year old said, Look what me and your guy did, look what your <laughs> did. Boosie then riffed on the commenter's username, saying, Who's 829? <laughs> ain't got 2900 in your pocket. His impassioned response was enhanced by the sound of someone cackling in the background while he was speaking. Boosie Badass posted a comment on his Instagram profile in response to Kodak Black's recent criticism of the song 11AM in Malibu. Boosie says he's still supporting the Florida rapper, who is still incarcerated, to be released from prison despite the diss. Who Boosie think he is? Boosie Badass captioned a clip of Kodak's track. Someone you will never be hashtag facts you must be still mad about what I said cause you keep bringing my name up. At Kodak Black you gotta blame yourself. You gave your career a black eye. I didn't do it you did it. You posed to be focused on getting back out here with your family and getting help. I wish you the best and I wish you freedom. Rapping over Drake's 8am and Charlotte B. Black confronted Boosie head on in the midst of their continuing dispute. And I got longevity and it's been longevity. And it's been scared of me from ever since I remember. That's what the streets tell me. I don't even care about that though, I'm Trina Get Rich. Boosie, thank you, so you niggas thank you, Bills. First, Boosie publicly criticized Kodak Black for collaborating with Sick Nine and Nee on the song Shaka Laka. The sniper gang boss reposted a video on his Instagram stories of content creator at Imk. Ray questioning Boosie's behavior given his yeah, age. Man, I think Boosie is one of the most immature 40-year-olds ever. Kodak Black stitched in a scathing reply that read, Poussie. Later that night, the 40-year-old rapper took to Twitter and issued a harsh reply of his own, implying that Kodak put his morals to the side for money when appearing on 6 x 9 and E's new song Shaka Laka, Sold You Soul 5 Million. He wrote, I know you a take a dick for 20 million shaking my head you been weird. You ain't never been no street yeah, you a capper rapper lol Nickelodeon ass nigga lol nigga shoulda stuck they finger and yo asshole hashtag Kodak the Stallion. Boosie included a video with his tweet that showed the super gremlin rapper flashing the crowd by lowering his pants in the club. Boosie Bedaz and Kodak Black's feud started earlier this month when the former criticized Yak for working with 6 9 a figure who is despised in the rap community due to his reputation as a snitch. Boosie vented his displeasure on Instagram Live, saying the Florida native ain't no street and that he has no morals or principles as a result of the collaboration. That Yak fucked me up, he said. I wonder how all them Zoeys feel, dog. I know them Zoeys fucked up right now. I know the state of Florida fucked up right now. This nigga ain't got no morals, don't got no principles. Damn, thought that little nigga wasn't like that, bro. Nigga ain't no street nigga at all. Damn, fucked me up. Nigga hurt me with that one, fucked me up. Don't care how much money you give. Wack 100, the manager of 669 and E, also addressed the collaboration with Kodak Black, asserting that neither artist owes an explanation for doing so. Io, listen, I see the cat is out the bag, he said in an Instagram video. You got the 6 9 Kodak joint dropping today. 6 9 ain't gone give a motherfucking explanation and Yak don't owe a nigga an explanation. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.